In this video, we're going to talk about writing ionic formulas with transition metals. Okay, guys, do you remember how we write ionic formulas with ionic compounds? Yes, you're right. We look at the element in the periodic table and we look at its charge right here. Then we write the, the compound. But in ionic, but when we write, sorry, but when we're writing ionic formulas with transition metals, we just can't look at the periodic table and guess the charge of the transition metal. Okay. So how can we write ionic form as transition metals? Okay, let's do it. I'll tell you, sorry, I'll tell you how. So let's do it. We have the first example, chromium to iodide. Now these two I's are not, aren't the, how many chromium atom do we have? It's the charge of chromium, two plus. Okay, now iodide, which is uh, uh, I, iodide, which is I, here it is in the periodic table, iodine, okay, I is iodine, okay, and it's in that group, it has a minus one charge, okay, can I write here CR as a two plus charge, and here I, which is iodide, has one minus charge, so charges are not balanced, two plus and one minus. How can we balance the charges? Yes, you're right, we add another atom of iodide. So we're going to have a two minus charge. Now two plus, two minus charges are balanced. Now let's write the formula. We have here one Cr, one chromium. Okay, and we have one, two, two iodides. I2. So the formula is going to be CRI2. Now let's take another example. Okay. It's going to be iron 3 oxide. Okay, iron 3 oxide. Iron, here it is in the periodic table, which is Fe. Okay, and here we have the Roman numerals of, numeral of 3, which is the charge of iron. 3 plus. Okay, we can write Fe, here 3 plus. Then oxide, which is oxygen, it's minus 2 charge. Look at the, sorry, look at the periodic table. Here it is, and it has a minus two charge. Okay, O, which is oxygen, minus two charge. Now charges are not balanced, sorry, two minus. Charges are not balanced. Three plus and two minus. So how can we balance it? We add another, we add two more atoms of oxygen, and we get six minus charge, and two. And to balance 6 minus, we add another 3 plus or another iron. So 3 plus with 3 plus equals 6 plus. Charges are balanced. Now let's write the formula. How many Fe do you have or how many iron? 1, 2. I have 2. Fe, 2. 1, 2, 3 oxygens. O, 3. So you can write the formula of Fe, 2, O, 3. Okay. Another example, it's going to be the last one, but we're going to use in this example polyatomic ions. So, do you remember what are polyatomic ions? Yes, you are right. They are a group of elements that combine together and they have a charge. And here I have some of uh, the pre uh, sorry some of the polyatomic ion and we're going to use nitrate in the example and it has a symbol of NO3 and with the charge of minus one okay lead the example is going to be lead for nitrate okay 
lab it's here uh, sorry here it is in the periodic table and it has a 4 plus charge because 1 minus subtracted by 5 equal 4 so pb has a charge of 4 plus now nitrate as we said it's from the polyatomic ion it has a 1 minus charge nitrate 1 minus charge okay and o3 has a 1 minus charge so 4 plus and 1 minus charges are not balanced and we can balance them by adding 3 more and all uh, 3 more nitrates so we have 1 2 3 4 4 minus or 4 nitrate which each one of them has a 1 minus charge so we're going to have 4 minus and 4 plus charges are balanced now we can write the formula of P B and do you remember guys when we are writing uh, so when we are writing formulas with transition metal if there are more than one we write them in parentheses so here we have more than one nitrate which are uh, which is from the polyatomic ion so we have NO3 close the parentheses how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4. So we write here 4. So PBNO3, 4. It's uh, how This is how we write the formula of lead for nitrate. So this is our video for today. And thank you for watching.